Woohoo! Yeah. What's up? I'm Madison Bullock. I was born in the Midwest. Uh, yeah. Jeff City, Missouri, to be particular. Yeah, we got some Missouri folks up in here. Um, I love uh, being in Los Angeles now, I do. For one thing, the weather is way less miserable. <laughs> Yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> I have a lot of appreciation, though, for many Midwestern values. Um, frugality is a big one. My parents were very frugal people. Um, I've noticed in LA that <laughs> people tend to spend a lot of money on things that they, they seldom ever use, like their smiles. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, I gotta tell you, I love a room full of users. <laughs> My parents left Missouri when I was one, though. They moved to Northern California. So I don't, I don't feel like a true Midwesterner. What this really means is that I just have these, these random Midwestern sayings that are like, in my DNA that just get activated at inappropriate times. <laughs> <sighs> well, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. <laughs> my husband looks to the waiter at California Pizza Kitchen and says, I think that means she'll have the salmon. <laughs> Sorry. When I was nine, my parents and I moved to Colorado, where I spent 10 years training at the Olympic Training Center in figure skating. Yes, yes, very cool. Yes, very, very cool. So the best part about being an elite level figure skater is that you aren't good at anything else. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You can uh, lead a horse to that frozen water, but uh, that horse is gonna be a one-trick pony. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but no, uh, not good at anything else. Um, no, no, no ball sports. Um, no tennis. No soccer. No. Ballet. <laughs> that was stupid. That was really stupid. <laughs> yep. Actually, no, that is not entirely true. At one point, I did get quite good at hockey players. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, puck, yeah, I was very good. Phew, <laughs> <laughs> I like you guys. The other best part about being an elite figure skater is that you are terribly lonely. Yeah, yeah, no I was. I was always traveling for competitions and stuff, so I was always, you know, a little low on the, the friendos. It's also a little socially awkward. Hello. <laughs> That's in the past. <laughs> You know what's awesome? Uh, crutches. Yeah. <laughs> I just felt like I didn't really need a transition there, so I didn't take one. <laughs> there was a girl in my high school, she was a cheerleader on crutches, and, uh, well, she, uh, <laughs> all the boys looked at her like this adorable little nymph creature that, you know, oh, let me help you carry your stuff, let me help you carry your, your things. Well, I did a double axle into a walking boot. <laughs> and uh, no, uh, all the boys at schools did not look at me like this nymph. Um, they looked at me like Quasimodo. <laughs> Brian, could you hold the door for me? Get away from me, you freak! <laughs> Y'all have helped me realize that maybe I'm actually quite good at um, Quasimodo impressions. <laughs> Thank you, good night. <laughs> Let's keep it going for Matt.